Okay. Now that describes what our topic today. <laughs> no strings attached. On the next episode of Feeling Sisters. First things first, that we, we, oh, we can talk about dating because this is going to be a very uh, interesting topic. We were thinking about it's like, like there's so many sides into dating. Um, and how it has evolved and how it has changed. Now, this is like this is not one of those stories where happily ever after, uh, happily ever after happens, right? Um, my story uh, is like I I got engaged to Tinder. Yes, this is one of those stories. Was like, oh my god, you know, and it, it was it was amazing. It was good and everything. But of course, the app can get you through. The app can get you there. Okay. This whole modern age of dating. Tune in every Sunday to Eat, Read, Love for new episodes. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. Um, before we start, if you are already familiar with the channel, you are more than welcome to go right away to the reading. Now, if you are new to the channel, welcome. And I'm just gonna explain to you guys how it works over here. Now, how it works is this is not Burger King. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> now, I joke a lot here, okay? So, <laughs> that's one thing also. I sing. I, I have fun in, in what I do. So, if you're not a person who's happy and like that, then this might not be the child for you. <laughs> okay. Now, the announcement here. Um, all, the, all the things that you need is going to be in the description box. And, of course, uh, uh, this channel has um, extended one and extended two. This reading might not resonate with you, so chances are the next reading will be for you. Um, it's the second one, extended two, we call it. And all the way at the end is the extended preview. Now, the extended preview is a continuation of this reading, okay? And you can catch it all the way at the end. And then what else? We have all our classes available for download in the description box. From planets to learning tarot with me. So check it, it's also in the it's also down there. Um, what else? Uh, the webinar for March 21 and 28. Um, so make sure you uh, you already familiarize with that one because that's the only thing that we are right now having a class with. It's for the entrepreneur. It's for people who wants to start a YouTube channel or a metaphysical business. Um, but this is going to be related for Saturn and Capricorn, Jupiter and Sag and Mercury. You know, like this basically all this placement is... Um, um, fortifying right now um, people who wants to have a business but this is not for people who still hustling in their sixth house which is their nine to five so it's gonna be for a very few select so these are you know normally like these people already know who they are and they have a vision on how to deliver it but you just don't know where to start well I will tell you what not to do and what you should do because I've learned the hard way and you can escape those hard way by basically learning with me 21 and uh, 28 and it's gonna be in the description box also for the webinar now I feel like let me see anything else I'll uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram also because in the Instagram um, like I do post there some transit like uh, the other day I post some um, astrology transit in IG story um, so I'll be more active also in Instagram with regards to transit because it's easy for me to just give out the messages right there and I'll be discussing some nakshatra over there with the moon because it does take time for, you know, if, if, it, if we upload it in YouTube. So um, yesterday I was discussing about, um, you know, um, Venus exalted in Pisces and once it goes to Revati, which is like somewhere around the 27 degrees, the last nakshatra, you know, finding unconditional love. So that was the topic yesterday. So there's going to be a lot in Instagram, in IG story and it, uh, you know, so it's uh, it would be delivered messages, um, you know, ideally regularly because I, I feel like it's easier for me to just get into my phone and then upload it there. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. It's a Sal Piedora, okay? And I think that's it. So no more reading since the announcement is so long. I'm tired. <laughs> All right. So now let's go to your reading. Bye, guys. All right, Concierge. So let's begin your reading. How are you? I see here two ones. Wow. Two ones? Is that... Partnership, because that's 11. Um, 11th house is also network, friends. Oh, that's why I saw it. <laughs> two ones. No, because before I was discussing that. It's interesting. I just see two ones, or I did two become one. Okay. I wonder what's the connection mm -hmm. of that with your read. We'll see, though. We'll see. Okay. We're just getting settled. Settle down! <laughs> I'm kidding. How are you? Okay, let's see. Consider. Okay. Let me see here. Okay. Two ones. Maybe you're gonna see a lot of ones. Okay. 
I said ones, not ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe you have two options. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. For my concerns. Let's see what's up. Ooh, wow. First appearance. It's the first time it appears. High Priestess. What are you hiding? Mystery, right? Um, so, this is not like a secret secret. Uh, this is like more of like a need-to-know basis. They're not ready. Uh, so this is what you're saying. This can be them or you. This can be Taurus or Pisces. Like, well, they're not ready. Uh, so, who is not ready? I feel like you want to talk to someone, but they're not ready. If you say it right now, they might just get surprised and shocked. It's like you have some sort of knowledge that you want to tell this person. You want to express yourself, um, but tell they're not ready. Okay. Okay. It's almost like you figure out something in your life, but you know that the person, is, it, it, they're just not ready, Sam. They're just not ready. Okay. And let's move. Because I just know, like, you keep insisting, 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 <laughs> insisting. Oh my god. I swear. <laughs> A lot of transits will, aff will affect my speech, okay? A lot of transits. <laughs> insisting, insisting. <laughs> Dead. Okay. Let's see. Magician. So you think they're not ready, but they are, which is weird. You have, because they're the magician. These are two similar energy. Uh, see, now I'm thinking of this word. You thought that they're miscalculated, not overcalculated. <laughs> you miscalculated their ability to understand you, okay? Whatever that you didn't tell them, they can totally understand you. What, why you did it and how you did it. They have been there. Okay. This is what this person is saying. I've been there. I've got there. Let's just say, for example, Sal, they cannot know that they can't know about... Let's just say you have a dark past and you just don't want to, you know, say, I don't want to deal with that. Like, I don't want to express that. Like, this person will totally understand where you're coming from. Hmm. I like that. I like that. There's nothing that will surprise this person. They've gone through those things that you think that nobody has. Oh, wait! In two words, is the high priestess. Shabangles. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And what did I say? Two ones. I swear. And then now it's a single one. Single one. Oh, wow. Sometimes I'm amazed. <laughs> Let's see here. Because they gave such an, a gorgeous vessel but empty brain. <laughs> here we go. Let's see here. And this person is manifesting you to open up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There is a person here who feels like nobody can accept me for who I am. Whoa, that's rough. Yeah, then what kind of person are you? <laughs> no, it's more of like what you have gone through in life. Mm hmm This is what I'm sensing here. Hey, Virgo Gemini. Ooh, Kia yeah, Cups, Scorpio, and the Two of Pentacles. All right. Well, they're just waiting for you here. Mm hmm And here. They're not going to make a move. They're too busy with the Two of Pentacles here. I forgot which reading had the Two of Pentacles. Aqua? Yeah, Aqua. Um, they really... Uh, Kia Pentacles, a King of Cups, you two of Pentacles, they're not gonna force you. Because mm -mm. they know. Like, intuitively, they can pick up. Also, if like you're going through something rough in your life, they're picking it up. And for them to get involved is not their cup of tea. Mm -mm. No. They're choosing to be busy, productive in their life, and they're gonna keep doing what makes them feel, well, I have to, you know, I have to live my life. I can't be stuck, you know. When the Piscean is ready to express, then that's it. High Priestess. Mm. And look, two number ones again. Mm. I wonder what it really means. <laughs> they say, haven't told me. Mm. 
But that's 11, 11, right there. Mm. Under the high priestess. Ooh! -hoo! Oh, now they tell me what is 11, 11. Two of cups. <laughs> Two become one. I need someone. Ba -da -na 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 -na. When I make love to you. I'm annoying, sorry. Yeah. Okay. So now they tell. Hey, number two again? <laughs> two. I mean. Okay. For people who does not know tarot. Oh, see that one? Huh. Oh my god. They're on point today. They had a good day off. Okay, from me. From me. They don't take a day off from me. <laughs> It's like, there you go. It says it says it all. High priestess with the two of cups. You know that this is your person. The whole shabangles time. The whole time. Yeah, I know, Sal. But I don't feel that they can accept me. Why? 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 What's wrong with you? You know, one thing I'm feeling here, like someone is sick. And they don't want to express it. High priestess, I feel. Like they're going to rub something rough. I, I know there's something rough behind the high priestess. Normally it's like they believe in the universe and it's gonna come. Mm -hmm. Like they can have such a, you can have or they can have such a massive problem. They don't want to express it. But there's Mercury right here. So communication will happen. Nine of Wands. Oh, because they sh do show sometimes that they fear. So this is a person now who loves you, cares about you, but sometimes um, also will feel... Uh, intuitively, they can get scared. Like, like you kind of know. They kind of know also it's like they're not ready to accept the truth that you're about to drop. They know you love them. They kn you Both of you knows. But if both of you opens up, oh my God, like both of you are just so nervous. Like, you guys are nervous wreck here. So, you guys cannot accept that the feeling is beautiful. You guys, it's like a silent, you know, it's like, normally it's like a sexual tension, right? This is more of like a, a love tension, you know? Like, it's, there's there's fire between the two of you, I'm feeling, because Nine of Wands, Mars, and it's like, but it's just so, um, it's not, is it taboo? Is it work-related? That's why it's a secret. Um, it can also be, if it's not work, you know, it's like, if it's taboo, then, you know, it's like, it's out of the normal relationship where it's a oyster and eggplant, you know? Hmm. Oof. I feel like it's a taboo. The devil, you know. Key of Cups. It's almost like they know that this is bad. Mm-hmm. It's like they know it's bad if they do it. What is this? Because I'm bad. I'm bad. Like you're a forbidden fruit and they're forbidden. Let's just say both are also married. You see what I mean? Like it's just so difficult, you know, to to approach someone. I feel like there is there's so many things behind behind the two of you. Mm -hmm. Under two of pentacles, you have five of wands. Family, religion. Oh my god. Both of you know it's a struggle to be together. Race, color. It's almost like you and them against the universe. If you guys ever pursue this, you, it's Megan and Harry. <laughs> For sure. Megan and Harry here. It will be too difficult. There's so many things behind the scenes um, that is going on. People won't understand, Sal. But both of you, I feel like, are not together, though. Megan and Harry, they're together. <laughs> There's a devil with the King of Cups. Scorpio loves you. Okay. Virgo Gemini. Five of Wands here with the Two of Pentacles. They're also finding themselves um, feeling that they're in trouble at work or they're they're trouble with their finances. They're trying to be busy. Um, they're taking care of a lot of things. And that can be an obstruction. Okay. Like they can't be with you because they're just magician. It's like school, learning, or opening up a business. But Two of Pentacles, I don't think that's a business. It's more like they have a career and it's in the line. You, you understand me? There's a lot behind this uh, energy because it's high priestess. All right. Well, I'm going to continue this reading. Follow me in the, all the way to the extended preview at the end. I'll continue this. Or if you just want to jump 
down there um, in the description box. Bye guys! Friends, welcome to my channel. Oh, hello! What did you guys have seen? Just the lovely, lovely, little, lovely greet that we have. <laughs> Happy V-Day for the people who are celebrating this day. Okay, I hope you guys have a wonderful dinner, wonderful, you know, m you know, whatever you're gonna do on this special day. Okay, for the people who celebrate. Okay, so let's see here. Um, for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, these are dailies, okay, 14 to the 15. Let's see what you guys have for me, for my Cancerians. Here we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's going to be fast for the dailies, 14 to the 15. Here we go. Let me put my girl deck here. You got here, Ten of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Someone's going to get a gift, a gift <laughs> of stability. Okay, making you feel secure. That's a gift, you know. Thank you for making me feel secure, okay. That's the biggest gift that anybody can have in a relationship, in a connection, whatever you guys are dealing with. Thank you for making me feel that you are committed. Thank you, thank you, India. Thank you, Tara. <laughs> if you don't know Alanis Morissette, okay. <laughs> so that's that song, okay. Um, I feel that this energy is about you're getting a, a stable um, connection with a person. That's good. Okay, that's good. Because someone here is offering them their... Oh, I know what that means. I offer my whole self to you. Okay, that's that energy. <laughs> Watch with what you say. Okay, <laughs> learn that. Okay. <laughs> that's here. here, someone is giving everything. Okay, let me see other person. Other person, king of pentacles. Okay, that's good. So Capricorn energy, natural seven. Remember, either you get your partner in the next 30 days or you don't, then goodbye. Okay? Just say, for some, depending, what's your zodiac, okay? Meaning, because, you know, I mean, Rahu and Ketu will end the karmic connection right now. A more freeing one. It move. It will move from your one and seven to basically, you know, to the, it goes to your 12 and um, twelve and six, or, you know, whatever, okay? But Because I'm doing reverse. Because remember, Rahu and Ketu is always in retrograde. So your whole life for the past 18 months was on retrograde. Now, here comes you move with them or you move without them. The karmic energy will free you. Okay. Then it will move to a different house. Okay. Let me see here. Next to the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Okay. You didn't see that coming. Hierophant. So I guess you guys are going to be together. <laughs> So, as part as the as the climax of this uh, connection that you have for the past two years with this person, I guess it will. I guess it's going there. <laughs> the Taurus energy here, Hierophant energy. You guys will go. Okay. <laughs> this is about being together. Finally, okay. Um, long stable relationship. It's all about truth and honesty. The most stable that can ever be. Okay. A Taurus energy here. Syrian. Okay, if it's not, um, this is about the, you telling this person, it's like, I want something real, I want something tangible, and I want, someone here wants a title, because this is, um, this is not society, but this is a title, I feel, contract, of course, binding, okay, I want to be next to you, this is also being in the same house as the Ten of Pentacles, moving in together, oh wow, can be same sex, okay, you got a King of Swords and a King of Pentacles, aqua energy, so this is a someone who has a double degree, okay? This is normally double degree. Okay, not third degree, okay? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just making a joke, okay? <laughs> With the King of Swords or King of Pentacles, this is someone who takes studies twice to get more Pentacles. You understand me? So whatever they're doing, they're gonna do twice, but this is also, if you're King of Pentacles, they have two jobs also here, okay? So someone who has nine to five and, you know, they have other stuff that they do, okay? Yours with someone is good, okay? That's good. Okay, keep it coming. Okay. Let me see here. Under the Hierophant and a Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Talk about getting it. Nine of Cups. Because this is my K... <laughs> oh, my K2 card. Because <laughs> okay. this is K2 in Water. So K2 in Scorpio, K2 in Pisces, K2 in Cancer. Which, of course... Okay. Because wherever Rahu is, K2 is also. Because it goes like that for me. Okay, so it's never separated really. Because you always go back and forth. So chances are, there's an energy that always stays at some point. There's a moment that it really connects. And this is that, that part. There's a moment you guys will connect. And it's almost like inseparable after that. 
and it's not even unforgettable. That's what you are. This is getting what you have always wanted, Nine of Cups. I know why my face is the opposite of a smiley face. <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Love it. it with one, M1, okay, whatever. <laughs> Let's see next to the King of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Hi. See, a lot of this person, this can be you. Okay, studies a lot of astrology. High Priestess with the King of Swords is someone who makes astrology as their business. Okay, as their calling. As their... Because they research a lot. This is someone who Googles a lot. Someone who studies online also. Reading online books. Online whatever. Online, online, online. Okay. So this person has... You don't even know, Kinsiran. But this person has manifested you in their life. And you thought you really got them. But in reality, they got you. <laughs> Sama got you. You really wanted this person. And it's like, oh wow, Sal, thank you. It's happening. You didn't make it happen. They made it happen. High Priestess, they were praying for this. The moment I wake up, started put on my makeup. Someone said a little prayer, and then the Etheris was listening. See? High Priest, a uh, Hierophant is, oh, you got the High Priestess and a Hierophant. Both of you, one will practice religion, one will practice spirituality. Okay? Either or. Okay, so you get what you want. Let me see here. What the best friend girl is saying comes in gold and diamond edition. Here we go. Oh, my meet up for the girl in LA. Visit my website. You got here. Falling in love is not a choice. Staying in love is not is is a choice. So it's for you to choose this person. I always say here, are you ready? Pick a chew, pick a me. Okay. <laughs> so work is calling. Okay, so can we probably spending time with this person? And then your phone will always be humming and buzzing. It's just like, Sandra, we need you in accounting. The HR is looking for you, Sandra. Bonnie, where is Sandra? Okay. Debbie, is she on lunch break again? Considerance always on lunch break, just saying. Okay. <laughs> Eating those knickknacks, just saying. Falling in love is not a choice. So, um, you will pick this person, they will pick you. And this is the part where, see, when you're done with the whole I love you, love you, I can't be without you, da 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 da. This is now the moment of awakening when you really stick with your choices. Can you stick with this person? Because they will. Will you? Okay. You're talking about the forever with the Hierophant and Ten of Pentacles. Let me say this. Okay. <laughs> let's just say you're 30, 25. Okay. Let's just say whatever age you're at. Statistics 76 is when we expire. Because, you know, Saturn, you know, we don't get to our third Saturn return or, you know, whatever that is. Okay. Add 50 years from now. Because that's legacy with Ten of Pentacles. I'm not scaring you because you will get it. Because this is it. This is the part where Rahu and Ketu will give you in this moment. I will give you this. Because I will have to challenge you in the other houses. You get what you want. You get what you deserve. Add 50 years from whatever age you're at. Regardless you're 25, 30, 40. Okay. 50 years moving forward. Can you make this love as your choice? Because after the whole five years of love, it's the commitment. It's the partnership. It becomes real. <laughs> <laughs> as real as it gets the fine lines have shown you know they're not how they smell they used to be okay they change you know it's like they used to look like this that's your grandma grandma looks like that before now she's grandma <laughs> this is that can you choose to stay in love when it will go on forever because that person will want but forever but you're just happy-go-lucky here, this person, whoever it is. The Taurus is happy-go-lucky. The Taurus is like, ha I got something I love. The person I can be with. The other person, very intellectual. Okay. I will choose you and I will stay in, I will stay and pick you every time. The relationship and the love is what I will pick. Ooh, you're with someone who's committed. Okay. <laughs> Can see guys, I'm going to continue this reading. I'm happy for you though. Okay. Link down there in the description box. I will see you in my meetup. On the 23rd, I'll be doing my talk with the girl. And it's a it's a very tight uh, little group that I want to meet um, so I can have some interaction. I'll see you. Bye, Ken Sirens. You know, it's like they can't be with you because they're out and about. They can they can talk to you as a page, meaning we can talk. Um, but they feel that, like, there's too much at risk. Their life. Well, but they're waiting. Oh, you're the empress to this person. No wonder. Okay.